Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is my favorite time of month again, Boxy Charm time. I'll show you the box, but they put my address right on top of the Boxy Charm logo, so there's no point in showing you the box because I'm not giving you my address. This month is Boxy Bash, and that is because it is their birthday month, just like me. This box actually arrived on my birthday, which was Friday the 18th, but I'm just filming it now, which is Monday the 21st, because I was actually sick all weekend. I had planned on filming it on the 19th, the day after my birthday, but I had a really bad stomach bug, so I'm filming now. And surprisingly, it came early this month, so apparently they're sending out the boxes earlier so that Canadians actually get them earlier, which is exactly what I wanted because I wasn't getting my box until the very last day of the month, which sucked. For those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription box full of makeup and skincare and beautiful, wonderful things. It comes from the States, so of course that's $21 US. I pay $5 shipping because I'm in Canada, and it usually comes out to like $35 Canadian, something like that. And there's always over $100 worth of product in the box. So I like to try on all the products as I'm pulling them out of the box which is why I have very little on my face right now. So let's get started. So the reason I'm not wearing foundation yet is because the first item in the box is the CoverFX Blurring Primer. I love primers, so I'm happy that this is in the box. This is a $38 primer. You get one fluid ounce according to the they changed the cards again this month last month was so cute how I had the fold down card this month it's just a regular card again but according to the card it says a lightweight soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores fine lines and other imperfections creating a smooth canvas for flawless foundation application let's see what this is like oh this looks exactly like my Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer and it feels like it too. So it has a little bit of a tint to it and it has that little bit of a silicone-y feel to it. Oh, I can already tell I'm going to love this primer. It literally feels exactly like my Smashbox one, but that feels wonderful on my skin. Beautiful. Well, I'm really happy that that was in my box because I'm actually running low on my Smashbox one. So now I don't have to go repurchase it, yay! Okay, I'm gonna put my foundation over this and see how it feels compared to my Smashbox one. I have my foundation and concealer on and it looks pretty good. My pores are nice and filled in. Seems to have worked about the same as my Smashbox primer. Quickly throw on some powder to set that all. The next thing in the box is this Pure Sculptor palette got really pretty packaging it's got like a textured so you can kind of see it's got textured ridges all over it. it's really cute almost feels like the face of a golf ball in the palette there are ooh, there's a mirror and then there's two sculptors and two highlighters this is a $30 palette the four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented buttery formulas these look like really dark colors. This almost smells like chocolatey or something. Okay, so this highlight looks like it would be light enough for me. Ooh, that's soft. This one looks a little dark, although I could probably use this eyeshadow. They're really pretty. Oh, you know what? That might not actually be too dark. It might work. But that lighter one actually is gorgeous and then these shades I'm hoping will come off lighter than they appear in the pan because those are really dark for me Ooh, they're soft oh they're really soft I like that the lighter one is really cool toned oh that's dark well we're gonna try them on my cheeks and I'm actually gonna use them on my eyes as well because there is no eyeshadows in this month's box so I'm going to sculpt my face first and then use them on the eyes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use them on the eyes first, see how dark they are. So I'm going to start by using the lighter of the two sculpting colors. And stick that in my crease. Uh, this might be too dark for my contouring. Man, that is pigmented. 
Like I dipped in pretty good, but I tapped it off after and it's still super pigmented. So we'll have to see about using it on my face. Now I'm gonna pick up the darker sculpting color and stick it just on the outer corner. And these work great as eyeshadows. They blend really nicely. Now I'm gonna go in with the darker of the two highlights. Oh, these actually have names. Okay, this one's Inventor, Founder, Originator, and Trailblazer. Those are all really cute. So I'm gonna take Trailblazer, which is the darker of the two highlights. And I'm gonna stick that on my lid. I'm also gonna take a little bit of Inventor, which is the lighter color, and stick it on my lower lash line. So next in the box we have this Aesthetica brush P12 it says. This is their face brush. It has synthetic fibers that allow for maximum control. It's perfect for creating a seamless look. So I'm going to use this brush and try out Inventor on my face. Oh, I like this brush because it's not super dense, so it's not making a super concentrated streak on my face. So that actually works really nicely with this color because it's not depositing a huge amount of color onto my face. And it's working. It's not too dark. But it's also not super precise. I feel like it's gotten a little messy on my face. Like down here it's come down a little too far. Let's try out that highlight. So I'm going to take Originator, which is the lighter color, and use that to highlight. Oh, that's really pretty. That just kind of sinks into the skin and creates a nice, not super subtle glow, but a little more subtle than some of my highlights. It's not chunky and glittery or anything. I like that. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of nose contouring with the lighter color. I'm a little bit scared about being it on a denser brush. Ooh, yeah, that comes off real dark. Oh. So I probably wouldn't use this to contour my nose again. Well, now I know. Taking that same highlight on a smaller brush and doing my nose. You know, all the small places on my face. So inner corner, nose, lip, eyebrow. Those types of things. That's a really pretty highlight. Okay, next in the box we have two eye items. First we have this brush trio, also from Aesthetica. And it's a three-piece eye trio. The Sedica Trio series comes with an angled eyeliner brush, a brow spoolie, and a fine-tipped eyeliner brush. A convenient three-in-one used for a wide variety of looks, from a subtle wing to dramatic cat eye. Use the brow brush for fuller, more defined eyebrows. This is a $45 set. So I actually did use my little spoolie to comb out my brows when I did them off camera. It's a nice spoolie, it works well. I'm actually excited to get this because my other spoolie has seen better days. This angled brush, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a thick angled brush. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do eyeliner with that. That is insane how thick that is. This brush, on the other hand, I'm excited about. Oh, this looks like a nice little eyeliner brush. So I'm going to try this one because the next item in the box is this Pretty Vulgar Eyeliner. How cute is this packaging? It's like one of those inkwells for an old feather pen. And it is just a black eyeliner called the Ink. And this is the color Blacklist. It's a gel eyeliner. It says this highly pigmented gel eyeliner provides quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. It's creamy and water resistance formula allows for smooth application, stays in place all day, and it's $24. So I'm going to use this little guy and this little guy, and we're going to try to attempt a wing today. Wish me luck. If you watch my channel, you know that this is not my thing. It's a little bit weird having to like dig down into here. That was a lot of product because you can't really see what you're getting. So I actually got too much product have to wipe it off on the edge it's really I was expecting it to be like a harder gel but it is super creamy so let's try this okay it's really pigmented and creamy let's see about that wing 
that's my easy side. Let's see if we can match it. I'm finding I have to keep dipping into it quite a bit. Hey, that's not too, too bad today. Usually this one flicks up a lot more than this one. They're a little bit off today, but not too bad. I'm not mad at it. I could see this being the eyeliner that I use when creating a wing because it, the application was actually pretty nice. I'm going to quickly slap on some mascara and then we'll get to the last item in the box. The last item in the box is a lip item. This is a collab with BoxyCharm and the Beauty Creations. Is that what it says? It says it's a matte lip gloss. What's a matte lip gloss? It's either glossy or it's matte. There's no, I don't understand that. This is in the shade Sweetheart. It's pretty pinky nude. Let's see what the formula on here is. It says long wear matte lip gloss on the actual tube. It's specially formulated to provide full coverage that dries to seamless, smooth, and matte finish. It's lightweight application is long wearing for an effortless lip color that complements all skin tones. Wow. That was hard to get out. $10. So last month we had a liquid lipstick that actually ended up being a gloss. And this month we have a gloss that's supposed to be matte. I think the beauty industry needs to get it together and just have one cohesive name for these products. Pretty color. Well, this is definitely not a lip gloss. It's matte. It's a little sticky still. Hopefully it dries down a little more. It has that weird fruity scent. It actually reminds me of like fruity bubble gum. You know how bubble gum has that kind of bubble gum scent, but it has like that fruity scent to it? I don't know. It's actually a little nostalgic of my childhood. Like strawberry bubble gum. That's totally what it smells like. Okay, well that was everything in the box. We actually received six items this month because it is Box Charm's birthday. So that was pretty cool. The three eye brushes count as one item and then their face brush counted as another item. Two things of brushes, a lipstick, a primer, and an eyeliner. I'm missing something. <laughs> and the palette. So let's go over these. This, love. This, I love, but might be a bit too dark for me. I will use it with some of my other brushes, see if I can make these two shades work for me. Probably only this one. Maybe this one for like really detailed contouring, but um, works really well as an eyeshadow and I really like the highlight in there. The first of the brushes, which is the brush trio, this brush I'm happy to have, this brush I'm happy to have, this one honestly will probably never use because that is a thick brush for eyeliner. I guess I could maybe use it for eyebrows, but even then I like to have a thinner brush for that too. So I don't think I'll get much use out of that brush. The eyeliner, um, I really enjoyed. The packaging is adorable. Like this is something that I can display and be super cute and I love it. I don't do a ton of winged eyeliner, so I probably won't get a ton of use out of this, but it's cute just to look at, so I'm okay with it. The second brush, really soft. And fluffy I mean it's okay brush but I just felt like it got a little too like it was very hard to concentrate it in one area I felt it got a little messy I could maybe use this as just a powder brush or maybe just as like a bronzer when I'm using my physicians formula butter bronzer as more of like an all-over bronzer might be good for that and then this lip gloss not a lip gloss Mm, it's dried down a little bit more, so I do think it will get to the point where it's not sticky anymore. At this point, it's a little sticky. It's a pretty color. It's transfer resistant, so that's always good. Yeah, nothing's coming off. So I like that, actually. And this color is really pretty. It's like a rosy nude, so I will probably wear this again. And then there's that nostalgia of strawberry bubble gum. I like it. So let's add everything up and see what our total is this month. Holy smokies! This is probably because there are six items in the box this month, but the total comes to $174. That is definitely the most value I've ever gotten in a BoxyCharm, so that is amazing that I got $174 worth of product. That means it's like over $200 worth of product Canadian. That's insane that's everything in my box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel before you leave because it really helps me out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.